How's it going everybody? ICS in Taiwan have sent me over the latest addition to their Airsoft replica lineup. This is the ICS BLE ICP, all the acronyms. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. So you get the unjamming rod, you get some kind of leaflet, you get a 30 rand magazine and a 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread adapter to fit a suppressor or a tracer unit onto your ICS ICP. Now you probably noticed that the ICP is Glock based. The lower body is a nylon polymer and it has textured grips on both sides. You'll notice there the 25 millimeter Picatinny rail there for mounting lasers, flashlights, etc. The ICP has a Glock style safety trigger there. You've got a flared magwell which is removable on the uh, slide you can see that the slide is vented on the left and the right and the top as well with the top you can see icp through onto the outer barrel there you'll also see the screw holes are there ready to mount an rmr red dot sight on there you've also got luminous sights there as well which are quite raised on the front and the back let's take a look inside the icp so to remove the slide from the lower you just have to rack it and then you just push out the catch there and now you need to give it a little bit of force to slide it forward now let's take a look at the lower first now in the lower you can see it's quite well greased there there's quite a bit of grease on there on the hammer section and that hammer section does look like it is made from a cast material it's quite disappointing in a way because i'd like to have seen a steel hammer set for the little special power that the icp does have which i will show you what it is in a moment Let's take a look at the slide. So you've got the orange nozzle there, and I'm guessing it's going to be a standard um, ICS type bucking in there. And again, we've got quite a bit of grease from the factory on the uh, nozzle around the nozzle area there. Now, the eagle eyed among you may see something a little bit different about this slide that you only see on certain replicas. It's part of the ICP special abilities, which I'll again tell you about in a moment. You've got to adjust the hop up, you've got a screw here. It's a flat-headed screw, takes a flat-headed screw, and uh, they're saying it's a TDC, but it adjusts from the bottom. A little bit disappointed there as well, because lots of new replicas are coming with the TDC on the top, so it's so easy to adjust without having to take the slide off. But um, some of you will be used to having like a wheel on the side of the outer barrel there. But ICS have opted for that screw type system there. So let's put the slide back on again. To put it back on, simple as racking it like that. And you just put the catch back in. And there we go. Let's talk about the mag now. Now the mag is a 30 round mag, which is nice to see out of the box. So I was a little bit confused to start with where you actually put the gas in this magazine, but there's a little switch here. So you just pull the switch back and the base comes forward. It doesn't come off but it just comes forward to reveal the fill valve there. And to get it back, you just push it and the switch goes back into place. Yeah, 30 round Glock mag, and you'll be pleased to know that the ICP is compatible with TM style Glock 17, Glock 18, and I'm told Glock 19 mags, if you take the mag well off, it will fit Glock 19 mags with this mag well off. In a moment, we'll see if the Glock mags that I have will fit the ICP. The ICP does really have quite a kick to it. It's really quite snappy there. But like I hinted at earlier, the ICP does have a special ability. So you may have noticed this little switch at the back here, back of the slide there. So we'll just pull that back like that. You can see that little switch just there. And now the fun begins. There we go. <laughs> the ICP has full auto. To select fire, it's quite easy. So you just rack the slide and there's the little switch there. So you push it that way for semi and pull it that way for auto. Easy as that. And you can probably do that easily with gloves on, I'd say. Like I said, I'm a little bit concerned about the longevity of the internals with that full auto function because it does look like the internals there are made from some kind of cast. So I don't know how long they're gonna last for if you're gonna abuse it on auto all the time so abuse it use it in auto all the time the fun switch 
So I've got a few things to try. I've got two Glock mags here. One is an Action Army mag and one is a WE mag. I'm not entirely sure which one is which. They are slightly different and they both feed and work just fine in my SSP-18 and my AAP. So let's just try them, see if they fit inside. They do fit. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to tell you right now if they feed okay, but they do fit. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works and it still feels nice and snappy as well. And again, works and still feels nice and snappy as well. So WE and Action Army do fit, do fire. Can't promise whether they feed or not. I've also got here my primary airsoft um, adapter, HPA adapter. And I can tell you that that does also fit in there and locks into place just fine. And again, can't tell you whether that feeds or not. We've got the Novridge uh, Glock adapter as well. And that does feed. It does look a little bit funny at the base there, but it does fit and it does lock into place. And again, can't be sure whether that feeds. So there we go for mag compatibility, the ones that I have anyway. I've got some weighing scales here and I want to see how much the ICP weighs and in comparison to other um, replicas in its class as well. So let's put the ICP on and we've got 460 grams, 460 grams. All right, let's go for the SSP-18. SSP-18, 390 grams. I have lightened this though. It's got the polymer slide on there and it's got some of the lightweight internals in there as well. AAP-01, heavier? Heavier or lighter, what do you think? Oh, 395, 395 grams. And just for comparison, the SSP2. So the SSP2 is a beast. There you go, 660 grams. Now with the ICP, the outer barrel is fixed. So that means the outer barrel is fixed into place. It doesn't move down or move up when you rack the slide. But one thing I have noticed is there is a little bit of movement between the outer barrel and the slide and the inner barrel and the outer barrels. Now, I don't think it's gonna cause any major issues at all, but the one thing that does concern me, when you've got the thread adapter on, let's speed this bit up for you. That movement seems to be amplified. Now you can hear that, can't you? And that concerns me a little bit. Now the outer barrel is moving quite significantly in the slide there. Now one thing that does concern me is also the inner barrel moving as well. Are you now going to get any feeding issues with BBs getting stuck in the suppressor? That is a little bit of a worry, that could be a worry. So what are the pros and cons with the ICP for me? Well the MAC compatibility is uh, one of the main pros for me. Definitely handy being able to use other Glock mags as well because you may have some in your collection and don't want to have to buy new mags for the ICP. Also the ability to mount the RMR, the pre-drilled holes ready for the red dot side to go on top there. Brilliant to have a Picatinny rail on there so you can mount your torches and your cameras etc on there. I love the aggressive looks of it as well. It just looks like a proper beast doesn't it? I mean I love this style. The full auto feature. I love the full auto feature. That's probably my number one for the ICP. The only issue I do sometimes worry is it could be one of the cons is the internals, whether those internals are going to be able to keep up with the full auto. That could be a downside. So other downsides are I'd like to have seen like on a Glock 18, I'd like to have seen the selector, fire selector switch on the left hand side of the slide there just to make it a lot easier. And I know it's a lot easier to select than the AAP01 is. But it's just, it just would have been nice to have the selector on the left there. Also I'd like to have seen a TDC on the top of the slide here for ease of adjustment on the fly when you're out in the field etc rather than having to take the slide off each time to adjust the hop unit. But that's not a, not a big deal at all. Maybe it's something that ICS do though they don't really maybe they don't like doing the uh, grub screws on top. What I want to do now is I want to do an efficiency test with the magazine to see how many BB fills I will get from one fill of gas with the stock magazine that comes with it. So I'm going to do that right now. And also I want to put it on a range or in a game. And I want to see how well it actually fires. So let's get that done right now. So this is the efficiency test. I'm going to start off with an empty mag. So you can see no gas in at all. And we're going to be using some red gas. Is that full? 
can't be. I'm guessing that's full, but very odd considering it was empty. It took seconds to fill. So we're all loaded up with 0.2 gram BBs, the first mag full of BBs. They are different colours, I know, but they are 0.2 gram BBs. I hate 0.2 gram BBs. I just use them for testing, so there's just some random ones in the bottle there. First up, we're just going to give it a chrono set to 0.2 gram BBs. So we're going to do... Oh, that's odd. Oh, we're in. Took a little bit of persuading to get in. Let's rack it. And let's do the first shot through the chrono. Snappy. So 347 FPS, very close to the 350 UK limit. <sighs> Snappy. Down a little bit there. 339 FPS. 1.06 joules. 1.07. The website quoted 295 FPS. We're getting 340 here with red gas. 18, 20 degrees Celsius outside. That's nothing wrong with that whatsoever though. Good figures. And very snappy too. Right, so what's that? Three shots. So here we go. And we're out. That's 30 so far. Let's give it another fill. Oh, got one left in there for some reason. Strange. Right, let's go it again. Just out of curiosity, let's give it a chrono again to see what it's down to now. 293 feet per second, 0 0.79 joules. Let's do one more. 0 0.81. 295 yeah, 0.77 joules 288 fps not bad not bad let's continue yeah. and we're out We haven't got one left this time. All right, third mag. 59 so far. Let's see what we're crying out at. 0 0.68 joules, 271 FPS. 0 0.65 joules, 266 FPS. Not bad for a third mag full. Oh, and we're out. So two and a half mags of BBs to one fill of gas. That, I wasn't even positive that was actually one fill of gas, but it seems like it did fill up extremely quickly. Um, give it a chance to get back to normal temperature and um, we will try it on auto, see how the efficiency is on auto. Right, we're back at about 10 minutes has passed. Um, filled up 0.2 gram BBs again. We'll see how quickly this mag fills with gas again this time. See if it was just a one-off or see if it's just a really quick filler. Right, so the, the mag is empty. You can see. Here we go. How is that possible? How is it possible? Well, it's full anyway. Okay, so we're gonna try on the auto now. So let's just switch it to auto. We'll flick that up. And we're now on auto. First up, I wanna see rounds per second. This is gonna be tricky. Put my eye pro on. All right, here we go. We got 15, 15 15.41 rounds per second, and we were a little bit over there 352 fps. Let's continue. Oh, 
Okay, let's go again. And we're out. How many we've got left? Over half there, so as expected, they're pretty inefficient. Um, if you want efficiency out of the ICP, use it on semi. If you want fun, auto. As for what weight the ICP will hop, I did try some Jeff's 0.4 gram BBs and it did hop these with a little bit left on the dial as well. I got the ICP to the field to try it out in game conditions. It shot very well and was as accurate as I'd hoped for. I did have a few issues however. My number one issue was I found the mag release far too sensitive. Oh. The slightest touch from my thumb would dump the mag on the floor. This wasn't a one-off, it did happen several times. <laughs> Maybe a stiffer spring can resolve this issue. A strange issue as well, a couple of times I had a BB stuck in the nozzle, which would stop the slide from returning to the forward position fully. It happened when I accidentally double racked, which is a mistake on my part I know, but a mistake that's easily made. The ICS ICP comes in at around $160, and you do get a lot of sidearm for that. It's snappy, it's fun, and it's accurate. I do hope that ICS take a look at that issue that I had with the mag release, and hopefully those internals will last out. If you want to see a review of the ICS Tomahawk, check out the video on the screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.